What up, it's K-Dub. As I told you earlier, it's going to be a crazy night. And I don't lie, Ranella. I told him Bobby V was in the building. And he did his thing. How you feeling, man? I feel good, man. You know, I, I don't know who to talk to. <laughs> you I know never... what I'm saying? Man, look, look. We got a cover on both angles. Uh, you know yeah, saying? yeah. Both of y'all got a mic. Um, you know, it's a blessing, man. Happy to be here at R&B Live. You know, this is probably my second or third, third time performing in L.A. at the R&B Live. So, you know, it was a good show. It was a lot of fun. You know, yeah. just went up there and had fun, impromptu. Y'all can tell you just freestyle some of the songs, some of the ad-libs towards the end. Yeah. What's that like, you know, coming from earlier in your career to now where you can do that in a big scene in Hollywood and you can just perform like it's nothing? Well, you know, um, it just comes with time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been in this industry all my life, more than half of my life. So, um, you know, I, j I just think it's really second nature. Um, and I just go up there and just have fun with it. October 16th, I know that's when your singles, your album. The album comes the out. The album comes dust, out. D2. Dust till done. Dust Till Done comes out October 16th. That's my fifth album. So y'all make sure y'all go out and, um, and get it. It's real R&B music. Uh, we got a lot of great features. Lil Wayne. We got Cassidy, we got Red Cafe, we got K. Michelle, um, somebody else I'm missing, but the album is definitely complete from top to bottom. The single is actually called Mirror, uh, the first single, and um, you know, the second single is with Future, it's called Tipsy Love. Really, I think my whole album is an album full of uh, singles, so you know, every song I put out, people are going to think that it's a single, but that's just what I really strive to do in my album, make quality albums from top to bottom. One thing I read about you is like, from people that has worked with you, you're one of the most humble people. Very humble. What keeps you humble in this industry, especially in this industry, you encounter so many things, so many different like people and just so many achievements. Um, What's the secret to a successful artist? I think it comes from, you know, your, your ground, who, who keeps you grounded, which is family, having good people around you, you know, good friends and um, people that just keep you, you know, well-rounded. People that's going to tell you when you're wrong, not yes men, you know what right. I'm saying? And um, I hang with people that I've been with for a long time, um, people that I grew up with, so I just think all these people keep me grounded. When you started, yeah. back in the day in the group, to your first solo, to now being in your fifth, things have changed. We can say that it seems as though R&B isn't quite R&B-ish anymore, you know what I mean? And watching you perform tonight reminds what R&B is actually supposed to be about, which is vocals and singing. So where, where do you think, wh why the change, and then where are you at with that? Like, are you, why is that so important to you? I think that, you know, hip-hop is so big now, you know, we're just leaving the R&B show and it's already rap songs, right, on, right, you know right. what I'm saying? We probably won't hear any more R&B songs tonight. And I think everything starts with radio and it starts with the club. Really, it starts with the club, because the club is playing you know a lot of rap music which right. is that's what the clubs should do right I think the club translate now translates over to radio right, right. Um, which takes away a lot of R&B songs and which takes away a lot from a lot of R&B artists so okay. um, where I'm at is still doing what I love to do um, perfecting my craft as an R&B artist and um, you know just just really progressing you know I'm, I'm on the keys now oh, wow. um, you know awesome. I'm doing a lot of different things as far as you know production and just right. just really just being the best that I could be in R&B and you know I'm gonna just stay true to my craft and, and true to the game. What's it like when you first start to now you know and, and, and that whole exposure and then the ladies like there's at some point where you slow down you like I'm looking for one lady now you know somebody special to me or is it just like I'm enjoying the fruits of my labor? Yeah. Well I'm enjoying them but of course you know you have somebody special you know what I'm saying but I, I still enjoy myself and um, you know I don't put a limit on what can happen because you never know who you're gonna meet and, um, you know, I, I'm just really enjoying things right now. We got somebody who wants to say something to you. Bria Miles has been wanting to say something to you, too. So I'm going to let her hop on up in here. Well, uh, first off, Bobby B, I want to let you know that I have been a big fan of your music for a minute. You just did a song with K. Michelle. And I want to know, how was it working with her in the studio? Like, how do you feel, it you know? Of, it was a lot of fun, you know. Um, we did the record and I was looking for a female artist on it and I wanted somebody with some edge, somebody that was very believable and you know, she was the right person for the record and um, played it for her, she loved it and she killed it. So you know, she really sung her ass off on it and um, it's a hot record, put it in, it's off of Dust Till Done, it stores October 16th. What up y'all, this your boy Bobby V, you're watching rnblive.tv, keep it locked, you heard?